Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP scripts and in the previous videos, we firstly created the page, then we created the windows, we integrated the windows onto the page and after that we created the various text elements inside the windows. Again, we will learn so many important things into this particular video. Now, for the next point, I will just go for save and activation of the script. Then we will come on to the next point. So what I will do, I will simply, simply go to form and I will go for save. I am saving this particular script. Now, I will simply, simply go to form and now I will go for activate. I'm activating the script. When I try to activate the script, I'm getting a message that you need to assign one default paragraph format. It means it is compulsory that in SAP script, you need to assign one paragraph format. If you see, in case of smart form, it is not mandatory that you need to pass one paragraph format. Yes, you are creating a smart style. In the smart style, you are going for different paragraph format. Then, depends upon the requirement, you are using the paragraph formats inside the smart form. But it is never, never the case that without paragraph format, you cannot activate a smart form. But in case of script, it is compulsory that you need to pass one paragraph format. And this is the next important difference between a SAP script and the smart form. In case of SAP script, it is mandatory that you need to pass one paragraph format, but in case of smart form, it is not compulsory at all. Yes, depends upon the requirement you are creating and you can assign, but in script, it is saying compulsory you need to go for one paragraph format. Now, what I will do, we will go for paragraph formats and I will create one paragraph format. Suppose my name of the paragraph format is AF. You can give any name. If you remember same to same thing you did through smart styles transaction code. Now I gave the name of the paragraph format as AF. Suppose I am saying I will give any description. Suppose order details paragraph format. Now, I will go to font. I will give some font. Suppose font size I am taking 12. I will go for font family. Suppose font family, we all know times is the most popular family. We'll go for times. Suppose I will take it bold. So I will own the bold. If you see in case of smart style transaction code, we are going for same to same thing. Bold, italic, underline, font family, font size, same to same thing. Now we are doing in this SC71 transaction code itself. Now I will go for save. So I created one paragraph format. Now go to the header of the script. Ultimately, it will take you. If you are trying to activate, it will give you the error. Now, this is header data only. Now, if you will go here, you will be able to see all the paragraph format. You can choose one paragraph format from there. I created as of now one paragraph format. So, it is appearing. Now, I will go for save. Now, I will simply, simply activate this particular script. Now, it is again giving me one more inform, one more error. Header data, first page not defined. It means whenever you are trying to activate a script, 
you need to go for page also you need to tell yes but will be the first page in the script in case of smartphone this is never never the scenario we have one page present by default you are creating windows in the page but we are not going for any page assignment at all yes sir but in case of script we need to tell that this will be our first page so if i will go to f4 help you can see as of now we created only one page so that is present and now i will go for save these all these things i am doing in header data header data if i will go to pages you can simply simply go to header data now i am inside the header title bar is a clear clear indication that yes how we can go for header yes now i will simply simply activate now you can see my script is clearly clearly activated now i will simply run the script as of now as of now there is no logic nothing but i will be able to see the sample output how it will be so how i can simply simply run this particular script you need to go to utilities printing test i will choose that device lp01 so i will go to print preview and you can see order details order number second window header details third window header did header values fourth window fifth window sixth window seventh window yes in the seventh window anyways we are only the values and there is no i can say values as of now so seventh window you are able to see blank so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we cover so many important points see first thing you cannot run you cannot activate a script if you are not assigning one paragraph format it is compulsory that you need to assign one paragraph format and it should be assigned in the header data after that it is compulsory that one page should be assigned you need to tell sap that this will be our first page in the sap script after that only system will allow you to activate the script after that whenever we want to test the script as of now we just tested the sample thing you need to go to utilities and you need to go to printing test so it will show you the various windows and as of now we are only only able to see the labels because we have not written any logic nothing at all yes so as of now we are able to see the various labels in the output now if at this point of time i will cover the most important differences in terms of sap script and smartphone when we started that topic we cover two important differences yes script is client dependent smart form is client independent script does not generate a function bot tool this point is clearly clearly covered when i did the printing test it it has not generated any function module at all but in case of smart form yes when you activated the smart form and when you run the smart form you are able to see the function module at that point of time we are able to see the function module of the smart form third point which is already covered yes in case of script you need to create a page first but in case of smart form one page is already there there is no need to create a uh, initial page at all yes after that depends upon the requirement we can create more pages but one page is already already available in the smart form after that we covered yes in case of sap script whenever you want to activate the script it is compulsory one paragraph format needs to be assigned 
but in case of smartphone there is no such scenario at all and we can go for one more point here it is mandatory to pass it is mandatory to pass the first page in the script it is mandatory to pass first page in the script because what will be the first page in the script it is mandatory to pass first page in the script whereas in case of smartphone there is no need to pass the first page nothing system will recognize automatically there is no need to pass the first page what will be our first page in case of smart forms so this is all about this particular topic so in this particular video yes we studied paragraph format is compulsory to pass page is compulsory to pass if you want to go for just testing the script go for utilities and printing test and then we covered yes now as of now we know five important differences between the smartphone and the script in the next video we will learn how how we can go for logic part because after that only we will be able to see the output of the script yes so that's it in this particular video thank you